Networking your VeriFit2. There are several reasons you might want to connect your VeriFit2 to a PC network. To run the AudioScan NOAA module, to automate hearing instrument adjustment with VeriFit Link, to view and operate the VeriFit from your PC screen, to save PDFs to a location where they can be read by your EMR software, or to access network resources such as office printers. As a standalone unit, the VeriFit 2 is essentially a computer itself, and the standard method used today to connect two computers together is through a network. In a nutshell, a network is an interconnected group of devices which can communicate with each other. Each device has its own unique address, which is how the flow of data is managed. To add your VeriFit to a network requires two things. One, a method of connection to that network, and two, a way to obtain the unique address, also known as an IP address. The connection method is either a physical connection through an Ethernet cable, or a wireless connection using Wi-Fi. Both methods are available on your VeriFit 2. However, if both are possible, we normally suggest a wired connection. Wired connections are typically faster, more reliable, and more secure. The IP address assigned to your VeriFit 2 can be assigned either manually by your IT personnel or it can be obtained automatically from the router, a device which manages the interactions between the devices on every network. Which one you choose is determined by how your network was set up originally. Most small networks use the automatic method, also known as DHCP. Most larger networks use manual assignment, otherwise known as static addressing. While there are lots of variations on a network, today we'll look at three example network setups. One, a small network, for example, in a smaller clinic or chain location. Two, a large network, like you would find in a hospital or educational institution. And three, a single computer connection where no other devices are involved. One, the small network. Networks have become standard in all small clinics as they are used to share office resources like printers, allow computers to access email through a single internet connection, and run multi-PC applications such as NOAA or practice management software. Typically, you'll have a small router which manages the network connections. A router like this one provides a few wired Ethernet connections as well as a Wi-Fi wireless connection. If you're using Wi-Fi to connect, right-click to bring up the main menu, then select Setup. From the left-hand side choices, select Network. Choose Wireless, then click Scan to look for available networks. Once the list has populated, you should be able to select your network from the list. Click here to enter your Wi-Fi network's password using the virtual keyboard. Then click here to save it. Almost all wireless connections use automatic IP address assignment, also known as DHCP. Before leaving this setup screen, click on Test Connection to see that the IP address was obtained successfully. Green check marks in this window indicate that all is well. If you see any red X's, you may have entered incorrect information. Click here to continue. Close the setup screen. Once you've made a successful connection, your VeriFit's IP address will be shown at the bottom of the main menu. This address will be used when setting up your AudioScan NOAA module, remote console, and in any hearing instrument manufacturer software which will connect to your equipment via VeriFit Link. If you wish to use a wired connection, the simplest method is to connect an Ethernet cable to an empty port in the router, then to the back of the VeriFit. If the router's ports are all in use, you can create more connections by adding a device known as a network switch. In a slightly more sophisticated setup, the router can be hidden away in a closet and the connection run through the building to an Ethernet jack in a wall plate. If this is the case, and your PC is using the connection, you can again split this out by adding a switch, or have your IT provider add a second jack for the VeriFit. Once the physical connection has been made, open Setup, Networking, and Ensure Wired is selected. 
In small networks, DHCP, or Automatic IP Address Assignment, is normally the default. Click Test Connection to see the address that is assigned to the Verifit. Again, this will be displayed at the bottom of the main menu moving forward. The DHCP server on the router, the part that assigns the addresses, will always attempt to give the same address to the same network device when things are shut down and powered back up. Occasionally, you may see this address change. To prevent this from ever happening, we recommend adding a DHCP reservation to your router. This is a quick process and simply requires logging into the router's control panel from a PC. The interface is different for different brands of router, but it can be easily done by the person who set up your network. 2. Large Network In a larger institution, the router and switches are always hidden away and may even be off-site. Wired connections will typically be used via Ethernet jacks in wall plates. You will require one be added for the Verifit, a process handled by your network administrators. If it's the first Verifit added to that network, it is very common for the IT staff to require some security assessment paperwork be completed. Please contact us either directly or through your local distributor for help in answering these questions. Security on larger networks is often handled by restricting each connection point to a particular device. Each device has a hard-coded identifier known as a MAC address. Your network administrator will ask for this MAC address. You can find it easily right here in Setup Network. Note that the MAC address is different if you're using a Wi-Fi or if you're using a wired connection. Both are listed. Once the physical connection is made, the network will be set up in the Verifit. If the institution is using automatic address assignment, the process is the same as before. Simply click Test Connection. However, on many larger networks, especially in hospitals, the network administrators prefer to assign the IP addresses manually. It is important not to guess at these numbers, as they must be unique to each device, so they will be assigned by the network personnel. Click here to uncheck the automatic address assignment through DHCP, then click Change. In the window that pops up, add the IP address given to you by your network administrator. Below that is a subnet mask. Again, enter the one that was assigned. In some cases, a gateway address may also be required. Enter that if it's been provided. Since the Verifit typically is connecting to one PC close by, gateway is normally not needed. Domain and DNS server can also usually be left blank as they're not required for NOAA connections or for Verifit link. These may be used in cases where you wish to save sessions or print PDFs directly to Windows shared folders. Click here to continue. Click Test Connection, then Close Setup. 3. Single Computer Connection It's also possible to make a network connection directly to a single computer. As long as the PC has an Ethernet jack, you can make this work with a single cable. First, connect the cable to the Verifit and to the PC. In the Verifit, go to Setup, Network, and select Wired. Uncheck Auto and click Change to enter a manual IP address. Since there will only be two devices connected, the IP address combination used is not critical. They should be the same between the two devices but differ in only the final digit. In this example, we'll use 192.168.1.1 on the Verifit. In the PC, go to the Windows Network Settings or enter through the Control Panel. Select Ethernet, then click Change Adapter Options. Right-click on the Ethernet connection and select Properties. From the list shown, select Internet Protocol Version 4, then click Properties. Select Use the following IP address and enter an address that is similar to the Verifits but again differs in the final digit. Here we will use 192.168.1.2. Click in the subnet mask field and accept the default values that appear. Click OK and close these settings. Again, at the bottom of the Verifit main menu, you'll see the address you assigned your unit. This is the one that you would use to set up your NOAA module or in hearing instrument fitting software on the PC. 
We normally recommend this type of static connection only for a PC which is not used on any other network. However, you may still be able to use the cable connection for the Verifit, as described, while accessing other network functions like email through your PC's Wi-Fi connection. If you made it this far, thanks for listening. This video examined three examples of common network setups. As there are many configurations of network out there, we couldn't make this tutorial exhaustive. Please see your user documentation for more details, or contact AudioScan or your local distributor for assistance.